Hello FNAFers, the winter spring has come and so did FNAF and today we'll talk about a character that has been missing from FNAF 9, Glamrock Bonnie, and what has actually happened to him. A lot of people think that Glamrock Bonnie has been killed by Monty because of jealousy. Seriously, is that the best thing that you could have made up? It makes no sense, and so I want to give you another option of what could have happened to Glamrock Bonnie. Before we start, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos and press that like button with that bell. Now, let's first talk about what we do know about Glamrock Bonnie. In the game, we can find three messages about him. One saying that Glamrock Bonnie was last seen in Monty Golf. Second saying that Glamrock Bonnie was decommissioned and Monty will now replace him in the band. And third, so asking about what to answer when customers ask where is Glamrock Bonnie. Because of those messages, people thought that Monty attacked Glamrock Bonnie because Monty was jealous of Bonnie. But this just doesn't make sense to me because animatronics can be jealous. And even though Monty has been angry, Glamrock and Matronis can't hurt each other, no matter what. One of those examples is that Glamrock Freddy is always worried and hopes that other Glamrocks are okay after we get their parts. Another example is that Glamrocks never attack Freddy, even after Vanessa finds out that Freddy is helping Gregory and them seeing how Gregory climbs inside Freddy. And so now I will tell you my theory. What if Glamrock Bonnie knew Gregory and was helping him? And after Vanessa found out about this, she tried to dismantle Bonnie. Just like she wanted to do with Freddy in the game. She could have done it herself or she controlled Monty. Just like she did with Staffbots in the bad ending and dismantled Bonnie. And if we are talking about Vanessa, she could have used Glamrock Bonnie parts to repair a bone trap, for example giving him a missing arm. Now, as a proof for why I think Glamrock Bonnie could have known Gregory is that in one of the Client 46 CDs we find out that Client 46 has been spotted on cameras talking to someone or something with bunny ears. And I have a theory that Client 46 is Gregory, and since he doesn't know who are Vanny and Burntrap during the game, the only one who could have been talking to him is Glamrock Bonnie. I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the Pizzaplex. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. So yeah, tell me in the comments what you think about this series and what you think happened to Glamour Pony. Or you can join my Discord server in the description and talk about it there. But for now that's it, subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos, press that like button with a bell, and remember, I always come back.